Hi, my name is Mike Thompson. I am a professional illustrator, and I just wanted to take a couple minutes to tell you why I use Painter, uh, some of the features that I really like about it. Actually, my favorite feature, the reason why I made the switch and really haven't looked back since I have. Painter X3 is packed with a lot of new features, but the thing that keeps bringing me back to Painter as opposed to any other applications is the brushes. You know, I've said this in the past, and I continue to say this. So I probably should back up and give you a little history of, of where I come from. I've been illustrating for about 20 years, uh, digitally for 15 years. And before I used Painter, I used Photoshop. So for a number of those years, I was working in all the versions of Photoshop. Even though I owned Painter, I didn't have time to learn the interface. And for whatever reason, it was a little intimidating to me, so I didn't mess with it until about version 9. When version 9 came out, they made it a little more user-friendly as far as the interface was concerned, and so I decided to learn it because I knew it had some really interesting features to it. After using it for six months exclusively, I decided this was the application for me. You'll see some of these pieces in the background. These illustrations are done for Mattel and DC Comics for their Infinite Earths toy line and I had a blast working on these pieces. I'm a big comic fan, and so any opportunity to paint superheroes is something that I kind of grasp onto. But if you look at the pieces and you zoom in on them, you can see that they feel very much like they could have been painted the way that I used to paint, which is acrylics on a cold press illustration board. If you zoom in, you can see that there are strokes there uh, that are apparent. It's not all airbrushed and it feels like something that if it were on a piece of paper you you wouldn't really be surprised so that's really what I love about the application if I pull up a separate sheet here you can see that there's such a wide variety of natural brushes and you hear people talk about the natural media in painter it's something that if you want to get uh, the look of uh, a thick wet paint that you know runs out on your board you can get it and it looks very believable the way that the paint interacts with the strokes beneath it and blends is also very believable and these are things that you can get a similar look in other applications but it doesn't feel like real paint uh, that's the thing that I love about this that's really why I use it from somebody who came from a background of Photoshop my mind was blown. So Painter is pretty much my weapon of choice now. Uh, I use it every day and you know even though I've only been painting with Corel for the past three, three and a half years, I put in a lot of hours with it. So it's a fantastic app. I can't recommend it enough and I hope you enjoy it.